You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Found out on Tuesday, LSU landed a commitment from grad transfer Gio Paez from Wisconsin. And uh, Gio Paez, good enough to join us on AFR. Man, thanks for the time. How are you? What's going on? Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's my pleasure. So uh, we we saw you in the Wisconsin uh, red and white in the bowl game, man. Like, you're playing in that game against LSU. What was it, the fight song? Was it the cheers, the colors, the beautiful women? Did you just look across the <laughs> field and go, I want to play for them? Right. You know, the game, I probably wasn't thinking that. But, you know, at this point, all those things you said are pretty head on. <laughs> my guy, are you wearing an Orlando Magic jersey? This is my friend. I'm not a Magic fan. This is a homie. <laughs> all right. Okay. Who is it? Uh, Jalen Suggs. Okay. Because the Pels, the Pels play the Magic on Wednesday down the Smoothie King Center. I'm going to be there for that game. I'm like, how does a guy – who plays at Wisconsin end up a Magic fan? So who is your team? Do you have a team? I'm a Lakers fan. Oh God, through thick and thin since, since the very beginning, since the the Rob Sacre days, all that. So how does that happen? Um, I I grew up in the San Fernando Valley. Okay, like 20 minutes north of LA. Went to high school downtown LA. I lived out there until I was 16. You know what? And Gio? I, I respect the hell out of that. Uh, yeah. I, I you're, you're, you're right. So you're riding with your hometown team, but imagine my dismay when I go into the smoothie King center, when the Lakers are in town, and there's a whole bunch of Laker LeBron and Anthony Davis jerseys. That's a problem for me. You know what I mean? I'm already knowing. See, I, see I you and I already have a kinship. I love that. Um, <laughs> Hey, let's, um, let's talk about this process a little bit. So you, you played in the bowl game against LSU. Yeah. You go into the portal. When did LSU first make contact with you? I forgot the exact date that I hit the uh, <clears throat> that I hit the transfer portal. It was a little different for grad transfers. There's not a as many restrictions as to when you can hit it. Uh, I couldn't tell you the exact date off the top of my head, but the first day that I hit it, I got a call from Coach Bo, and that process kind of just started up. Mm. So, I'd love to know your interactions with uh, with Bo Davis already. I mean, he's obviously an LSU alum, and people here are pumped to have him back on the LSU sideline, what's what's that? What's your experience been like? I just know he's that guy. His, his resume speaks for himself. The, the players he's developed, produced, uh, the places he's been, the staffs he's been a part of, I think there's just no question to his resume. I think me and him click. I'm, I know in this era of college football, there's a lot of BS and recruiting and stuff, and I, I talk to him, and I, I just say, give it to me straight, mm -hmm. and I want to help the team. And let's just go from there. I don't need all the flashing lights. I didn't take a photo shoot. I'm not about all that. Let's just get let's, let's play football. I love it. So you asked him, give it to me straight. What did he tell you? You know, there, there's just an opportunity for, you know, nothing is guaranteed. But I, I think I have what it takes to play with anyone in the country. I think I've put that on film. And... You know, it's just an opportunity that I couldn't really resist. Mm. Gio Paez is our guest, former Wisconsin Badger, committed to LSU, be part of the transfer class. You, you're also, um, I, I think, you're going to be the last class that has the super senior year um, mm. be, because of COVID. If I'm not mistaken, maybe maybe there's one more that, that, that will still have that opportunity. Why did you make the decision to play a sixth year of college football? When I look at the trend of just my overall college career in general, um, I think I've, I've been on the uprise, and I think why not take one more shot at it and play in the best conference in college football? Yeah, I, I played against them in the bowl game, and you know I know I could do this shit. Part of my you, language. You're okay. So you you have you have NFL aspirations after college? Absolutely. So do you think, and I'm just, I'm peeling back the layer of the onion a little bit here because I think it's, it's interesting because the decision guys have to make, right? Because a lot of times guys will say, I mean, let me get into the league as quickly as possible so I can start 
my clock ticking toward the second contract, which is kind of everybody's goal, right? Mm. If you if you spend a sixth year in college, you delay that another year. So did did you consider that at all, like going into the draft instead of playing another year of college football? I it, it crossed my mind. I had conversations with um, some of my good friends. Two of my best friends just got drafted to the Steelers last year. Uh, Keanu Benton and Nick Kirby. And, you know, I, I've talked to them about their process and things of that sort. And I, I don't know. I, I came into college at 17 years old. Wow. And I'm, I'm 22 right now. And I think there's there was a big step of maturity and getting adjusted to things. And I think I'm just in a, a perfect situation where I can get with Coach Bo and Coach Bake and just do these things that will put me in a position to succeed. Hey, I'm going to ask you about Blake Baker here in a second, but go go back. So 17 when you went into college, we see that more and more now, where guys mm. either reclassify or they're just young. Like you might, did you reclassify or were you just young in your grade? I was just young in my grade. Okay. My birthday is in July, in July. So same, right? So I graduated high school at 17. So mm -hmm. um, in hindsight, do you look back and and think, man, what like what if I had done it differently? Like, like would you advise? a young player at 17 to say, hey, don't rush it, don't reclassify, do that extra year before you go into college? You know, I, I think it's, you can get right or get left. If you think you're ready for it, go for it. I don't I don't ever look back and think I would have done it any differently. I don't uh, believe in coincidences. I think everything is according to God's plan. That's, that's my beliefs. And, um, you know, I wouldn't change anything about my career at all. Love it, man. Gio Paez visiting with us. LSU transfer commitment coming down from Wisconsin uh, via uh, the Los Angeles area. Hey, so you're a lot of people have asked this. You're listed at six three three ten, but you played defensive end. Are you gonna Are you gonna play inside at LSU? Are you gonna play yeah. You're gonna play tackle. I'm inside. Yeah. yeah. So it has to be a thing. Whenever you were talking to to Bo Davis, like you just realize the num like LSU is just. The numbers just aren't there right now at tackle. So, how much of that was the 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 conversation? Realizing, man, like you're gonna see the field because they don't even have numbers right now at that spot. Yeah, I'm not trying to bash anybody that's already there or anything of that sort. You know, these are gonna be my teammates at the end of the day. But I think overall, there's just an opportunity for me to go there, and I know some of the guys are older and they got a some transition from all line to D line, so it's. It's a conversation for sure, but it's been made uh, clear to me that the opportunity is there. Uh, you mentioned Blake Baker. Uh, I'm assuming you got to meet. Did, by the way, did you come for a visit? Yeah. Okay, so when you came for a visit, what were your impressions of Blake Baker? Just a cool, chill, cool, calm, and collected coach. Uh, holds himself like a, a younger coach for sure, and... He knows what he's talking about. No, that's my guy. He, uh, you, you know, he wears cleats at practice. <laughs> Seriously, he's on the field in cleats. It's, it, he did it his first stint at LSU here three years ago, and it became kind of a thing. And sure enough, out there in spring right now, guys out there in cleats, running around in cleats. Uh, he's there's a there's a kinship with the rest of the team. Uh, I got a couple mm. more for you. Why? Uh, what what other schools were interested? And ultimately, why did you why did you pick LSU? <laughs> so. Obviously, it's the SEC. Um, LSU as a program in general was a great opportunity. I want to get away from the three-down system that we were previously playing at Wisconsin. I think it kind of puts me more in a, of a position of matching steps, kind of takes away from my lateral quickness and my strengths in that area. Um, so that, the four-down system was definitely appealing to me. I kind of just want to get off the leash and uh, not necessarily hold as much blockers, I mean, hold as much blocks for the people on my back end, but kind of just, you know, it's my last year of college football, man. It's, it's now or never. I got to go get it. Ready to go stuff the stat sheet, man. Go be the pl the playmaker yeah. instead of the space eater. I get it. Right. Um. And um. Yeah. And, go ahead. Sorry. To, you no. said uh, in terms of other schools, I talked. There's a list somewhere around here, but it was like Oklahoma, UNC, Indiana. Um. Washington, Michigan State, Florida State. There was, but like, if they didn't have a four-down system, I wasn't really paying much attention. If I'm being completely honest. Understood. 
Um, so was this your first trip to Louisiana? It was my first trip ever to Louisiana. All right. Were you, did, I mean, did you get to see the sights, eat the food, do the stuff? What were your, what were your impressions? I've been all over the country, man, and then there, there wasn't a quiet place like that. I, you know, I grew up in L.A. I moved to Charlotte when I was 15, 16. That was a big change. And then I was up in Wisconsin for four or five. And now I went to go see the swamp. I rock with y'all. It's good. <laughs> I like it. I was over there eat, it was eating good. Um, I know it's going to be a little hot, but it's for the best. Uh, I'll put it to you this way, Gio. Um, whatever weight you put on eating the food here, the first time right. you put on 50 pounds of pads in fall camp, you can lose all that weight, brother. <laughs> you can lose all that weight it. in a day. I believe it, for sure. <laughs> uh, Gio Paez. Hey, man, uh, this was fun. I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes. Congrats on your decision. Uh, we wish you all the best. Look forward to seeing you when you get down here, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.